what's up and welcome to k plus gaming corner and in this thymesia video i'm going to be wrapping up my series and my adventures in thymesia in the world of hermes as we proceed to this final boss fight ends up we're gonna have to fight ourselves and what i want to do is i want to let this fight play out you'll see how i eventually overcome this challenge and then i'm going to come in at the end and i'm just going to give some thoughts and a quick little review on the game so here we go
So that's pretty much the end of the game. And as I said before, I want to wrap up my Thymesia series with a quick review and share some thoughts on my overall experience of the game. Starting with the graphics, I thought Overboarder Studio, the developers of the game, did a good job with the overall theme and with things like costume design and the layout of each level, definitely sets the tone of this dark, grim world of Hermes infected by plague and madness. I did think the color tones were a little monotonous and the enemies within the level seemed to blend in a little bit too much so you wouldn't notice most of them until you were surrounded and they were attacking you. This could have been by design though, maybe they wanted it like that. The sound design I thought was fine, nothing that blows you away, but you know, the boss battle music was okay, but again, nothing that uh, was too memorable. I would just say I wouldn't be downloading the soundtrack anytime soon. When it comes to the story and plot, I'm still not sure exactly what happened, why, or what we ultimately did about it. Not sure I understand the lore at all, even though it seems like at every turn we were fed more and more notes to read. Nothing with the story really grabbed my attention or made me want to know more, but I could say this about a lot of games, as many times the plot will leave you more confused than anything. Shout out to games like Hollow Knight though, where the more you explore you are intrigued to know more about what happened in that world, but I can't say that that's the case here. The actual game mechanics were satisfying enough, it was fun running around hacking enemies especially when I got the hang of things and figured out I couldn't block and parry at the same time due to choices made in the skill tree. The boss fights were fun and very challenging. If you died you never felt cheated like the game was screwing you over but more like it was something you as a player could learn from and get better at. Mistakes could be corrected as you tightened up your attack and finally took that boss down. Like most Soulsborne types when you finally do get that victory there's a nice sense of accomplishment and relief, so that's a good thing Thymesia has going for it. The skills and weapon options were fun to try out. I just wish certain paths on the skill tree didn't block you off from others, but that could just be my own thing. I never did get to try out all of the special weapon attacks though, like the bow and arrow or the fist, and that brings me to my only major issue with the game, and that's there's really not a lot of content, and I felt like the game was way too short. I was actually shocked when the credits started rolling and I realized my journey as Corvus was at an end. While there were still some side quests I could go back and complete, they didn't really add anything to the experience, at least from what I've seen so far, so we could have used a few more boss fights and definitely more areas to explore. Overall, I did have a good time with Thymesia and would recommend it if you enjoyed games like Bloodborne, Sekiro, or Elden Ring. You have that same element of whenever you die having to trace your way back to that spot to recover your resources or lose them forever so the stakes are always high. If Overboarder Studio was to drop an expansion DLC or do a sequel, I'd definitely be back for more. Final verdict, I give the game a solid B, could have been a B plus or an A with a little more content but not a bad game by any stretch. I appreciate you guys following along my playthrough, my triumphs and failures. Let me know in the comments if you played the game and how you liked it. If you enjoyed this content, do give a like and a thumbs up, it's greatly appreciated. And if you'd like to know whenever new videos drop or whenever I'm streaming live, make sure you're subscribed and get those notifications going. I'll see you guys on the next one, and with that, until next time, peace.